Hey, today I just wanted to jump right into uh, maybe like looking at how to process images, um, specifically on Azure. Uh, I've done this several times. I've implemented this uh, in several different systems. Uh, like a big use case that a lot of companies have is they want to be able to upload a profile picture um, and, then that, and then have that uh, obviously available to other people on the platform. Um, so mostly I've seen this done right. I have seen one case where in my mind it was done very wrong. Uh, and when I say very wrong, uh, it, was, it was taking the company um, to the place where they needed to have like 40 or 50 servers just to just to process images. Now they did have a large volume of traffic, um, but, but if you do this right, really it shouldn't be about your servers doing work. Um, to me it should really just be about uh, hosting the images and making them available publicly. Um, so I have a NuGet package as well as an open source project that can help you um, to look at this. I just want to run through the architecture really quickly and I'll provide the links below so that you can uh, have access to that source code. Um, so a typical thing uh, to do is to have um, some sort of API, which uh, you can call from either a website or, or, or your client if you have a mobile client. Um, so the logic behind the API is really, to me, pretty straightforward. Uh, what you want to do is store uh, the actual incoming data into a blob. Um, so this will give you the raw image um, or the original, if you will. So that will be stored in a blob um, and you'll have that for the lifetime um, of your application, meaning if you ever change sizing or anything like that, you can come back to this raw file um, and reprocess it as needed. The next step in the workflow that I would recommend is to then put um, the name onto a queue. So basically just like some way to identify that file, put that in the queue. So really straightforward. All your raw data goes into blob, the ID goes into a queue, okay? So the APIs work. All it's done is it's streamed, streamed it to a blob and then it's set up that blob uh, for further processing and then your response is going to be like your 200 uh, to the client. And now this breaks the actual flow down in a way that all the heavy lifting and processing um, can be done in say like a web job um, or a worker role. Um, so a background process can actually work off of the queue. And so what it, what it would do in my mind is, just pretend this is kind of like blob storage here, is it'll then pull that blob storage. So it'll get that id.jpg. And then typically what I would do is I would, I would do something along the lines of a thumbnail. Um, and then let's just say like a large format. Now these should be standard standard formats that you have defined for your application. Obviously thumbnail would be like, you know, the preview thumbnail that you have in your application versus the large. If someone then clicks on the thumbnail, they get the larger view. Um, and then these would be capped um, in terms of what your actual size ratios are there, right? So um, this could be, the thumb could be a little square and the large could be the large representation with uh, the maximum pixels that you're supporting on your site for that image. Now the nice thing about this is uh, these would just go right back into blob and sit next to the original. So once all that background processing is done, and I'll just get rid of the processing part of that, you actually have a few things that you can do. So now we have the store, the thumbnail, and the large format. Um, and then these are in blobs. So the nice thing that you can do is, is actually now serve directly from blob storage to your users. So if you put uh, your domain name dot or like let's go, sorry, let's go um, <laughs> 
content content dot your domain name dot com um, you can actually reference that thumbnail in that large format um, you can view the other video that I've done on the actual uh, CDN will actually describe some of this a bit more too so just look for cloud CDN and other videos so now you can you can stream it directly from Microsoft servers um, the content um, as well as you could have um, a CDN put on top of that um, and again this is alleviating uh, your need for your servers to be in this process um, and this gives you the CDN obviously gets you way nearer to your clients and able to stream those images much more efficiently to to your clients um, and then lastly if you need to have the image look like it's coming from your www.web server um, you can have an additional API uh, which calls for those thumbnails um, and those large images and just streams it out to your user um, And so this gives you a really good way um, for designers and implementers um, to be able to choose how they want to distribute the content that a user generates. Um, and really simple mechanism, get it into blob storage as fast as you can. Um, on a background task, process the images. And then once they're in blob storage, you have access to either um, have a custom API to, to stream them out, or else you can have the Microsoft servers doing the heavy lifting. Now I have an open source project um, which bundles all of this. It even comes with the API for uploading and resizing. Um, and I'll put the links uh, available underneath this video. The other thing is just check out that source code, see what it's doing, um, and then figure out how you can leverage a pattern like this. Uh, it's probably the most cost effective way to handle uh, image processing. I hope that that was uh, informative. Uh, if you want any more information, please get in touch with me. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Bye.